I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Oh shit. All right, let's talk to Peyton Royce right now. I can't, let me see. Okay, uh, let's talk to Peyton Royce. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. Wow. Like, that's, that's just harsh. All right, let's continue the story. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, look, it's red on the red carpet, I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the... And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You, you never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no, or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, 
I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand. But you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring or I don't have the right look or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on this person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it.
What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was kind of loud. Welcome back to part 11 of my player, my career, whatever it's called. We are here to face Rhea Ripley. Oh, again. See if we can get that, uh... See if we can get that, uh... Um, shot at the NXT Women's Championship. Stop taunting. Man, it is, you know, it's been a minute since I posted this. You know, you guys are really liking this. It's hard to see, you know, what you want sometimes. So, but this has been one of my best just one of my best series overall so definitely gonna keep posting that Five. gonna definitely keep posting uh i'm gonna start looking at some battleground content reacting to it do a bunch of that stuff get up get up no i'm fine Ooh, shot right to the back of the head that is what is needed. So, if you guys are wondering why this is posted on a Friday, I just thought I'd throw up some extra bonus content for a Friday. Uh, I have to be quarantined right now. I don't have coronavirus, but I was potentially exposed. So, basically, I am chilling in my room a lot. So, if there's going to be a little, like a surge event, just know that's why. And it's not because... It was not because I just feel like posting more. It's because I literally have nothing to do. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. I turned the difficulty up, and that might have been... We'll see. We'll see what I do. Ah! Roll out, roll out, roll out. There we go. There we go. Get in the ring, get in the ring. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Satellite radio. Y'all gonna hit with the boom, boom. All right. Um. No. But so basically, I've just been chilling. I'm gonna start posting more FIFA content because you know, more sports content. Cause I love sports, and I really just want to start posting more of that. Maybe I'll post some other games. But I think that you know, for the past few months, I've been just posting you know WWE content, and I'm just. I want to switch it up a little bit more. Uh, I've really, in the past three months, three, four months, I've been trying to post more consistently, and this is here to stay. I'm here to really give this a shot. Uh, we're almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is unreal to me. I never thought I'd make it this far. Uh, so I'm just going to keep posting. Hopefully, you know, people keep watching. If one person's watching, that's, that's all I care about. I'm just trying to make some people smile. Ooh. Missed it there. There we go. Boom. I'm thinking about doing a Sunday video too. You know, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I know my dates were a little mixed up. It's because I kind of had something this week. Uh, just everything kind of got pushed back. But that won't be the case, you know, regularly. gonna pin me no mm. okay there we go on the comeback I have a finisher Holy crap, I just need, I got her. I just gotta put a standing strike. There we go.
Who won? Who won? I mean, we're both kind of in a difficult position, but who won? I wonder who won. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode of, you know, part 11. Can I skip this? Thank you. I I hate the whole thing. We got the dream. Skip that. Don't care. I already got the thumbnail, so. Alright, let's face the dream. Gotta get him to red health. There we go. We have his attention. Let's try to keep it. That is the most important thing that we can do right now. It's just try to keep his attention. We're just going to be doing stomps. Welcome to the Stomp City, boys. That is how I play my WWE. Stomp City! There we go. Let's go up top. Oh! What a move! What a move! Just absolutely what a move. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Woo! What a move! There we go. Oh, just killing the game. Velveteen Dream cannot touch us. We have kept his attention and we are going to. Ooh, spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. There we go, we're taking care of the dream in what great fashion. We hit it again. We hit it one more time. The Velveteen Dream is almost a red health and we have not even lost all of the green health. Come on. Montre. Oof. Boom. I got it. Form a standing strike. That's what I need to do. Come on, Trey, move. Move, Trey, move. Don't lose like this. Don't lose, Trey. Oh! He's giving us the opportunity. What a man. Well, on the video game. Let me clarify that. On the video game. Okay. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, let's, let's talk some people. Let's talk to Red first. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. 
Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, the fact. what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. Oh no, we're playing mind games. We are playing the mind games. Okay. Since you seem to know about this sort of thing, I'll take your advice and bring the trophy out. Great. So, what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo, or the handcuff move, or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. All right, let's talk to Heavy Machinery. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that, but it's going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. <laughs> we came back to NXT for one reason, to win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! <laughs> I actually watched his Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? Yeah. Did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight! I'm just stating a fact. Oh, shit. Then here's another one. Tonight... We're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky! Cause we're coming! Yikes. What'd I do? I let you win last week. Because the dream thought about what you said. And I wanna prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dreams way. Cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for part watching part 11. Uh, it's just been crazy. I'll keep posting more of these. We have uh, Trey's match, but that's honestly it. That will be next time on part 12. Follow, leave a like comment uh or subscribe follow me on twitter at thy 3g and uh thank you for watching i just really appreciate it all right peace